that, with that objection, so ordered. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to pay tribute to the Bosnian people as they celebrate their, the 20th anniversary of Bosnia-Herzegovina's independence. As founding member and co-chairman of the Congressional Bosnian Caucus and having the distinct honor of representing a growing, vibrant community of Bosnian Americans in St. Louis, Missouri, one of the largest Bosnian American communities in the U.S., I'm pleased to recognize the Bosnian Independence Day with my constituents and people of Bosnia. Yesterday, our caucus co-chair, Representative Chris Smith, and I had a meeting with Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to discuss progress and continued challenges in Bosnia. I'm encouraged that the elected leaders have begun to do what is in the best interest of their country, to form a government, to begin to pass laws that will help put Bosnia on a path to membership in NATO and the European Union. In the face of tremendous challenge, Bosnia has made great progress over the past 20 years, but there is much more to be done. Yesterday, I urged Secretary Clinton to continue active U.S. involvement in the country and to strengthen U.S. support for the Bosnian people as they embark on a wide range of needed reforms. And I'm proud to represent thousands of Bosnian Americans in the St. Louis region. It's been with great pride that I continue to stand with them today and offer a hearty congratulations on the 20th anniversary of independence. I yield back. With that, the